dry ice and hot water. Of course, I'm using the top of a power supply to basically keep the bottom end of that straight because last time I left it on a cup of boiling water, the plexiglass on the low engine here just warped. And I'm still trying to fix that, but so I'm just going to do it this way, just be on the safe side, and hopefully it'll warp back into place, but it hasn't done that yet. Start back up. So I usually take it right about there, it'll take off. It takes a while to get the full speed. Especially running on dry ice and hot water. Kind of fun to watch it. Should run for a while on the dry ice at least, even if the water cools down. Hopefully the dry ice doesn't damage the plexiglass either. That's why I got it separated with the paper towel. So there's really no direct contact as well. Probably might see some condensation inside there, but that's about it. See, I can easily spin around because of the warp on the bottom end. Yeah, there's just a little bit of condensation there. That's normal. Yep, 50 bucks an e-crater. Probably the cheapest you're gonna get. Unless you build your own out of pop cans or whatever, which I'm too lazy to do.